Right everyone, Weapon Collector here. Right, this is going to be a beginner's guide to crossbow bolts and which pistol crossbow bolts are better out of the ones you can get. So, these are the more common ones you can get. So, what, what I have here is a full aluminium bolt, an ABS bolt and two aluminium and ABS bolts but that have different style tips so what these tests will show are the different parts to each bolts and then various tests to show what parts can break on them uh, what parts are more susceptible than others and stuff like that so I'll just go over the parts to each one and I'll actually show you those separate parts so the full piece aluminium one has a non-removable tip it has the rubber fletchings or flights similar to rifle crossbows and it has a plastic insert at the end the ABS one is fully plastic one piece shaft and flights and a non-removable tip the first of the aluminium and ABS ones has semi removable flights but a non removable tip and then the second one of those partly removable flights and an unscrewable removable tip so what I'll do now I'll show you those parts separately right so these are the various parts to each bolt um, this one I don't have a separate shaft but it would be the aluminium shaft the tip the back bit and the two flights so that's all the parts that could break on that one this one is really just two parts the shaft and the tip the two the two part aluminium and ABS ones are an insertable flight part that goes into the shaft this part's been broke off but it would that one would look like that screw in tip for this one and a just a friction fit tip for that one and all of those different elements do make these quite different and does make some have advantages over others you can see that some would have more parts to break and others less uh, some stand up better some are easier to replace and fix yourself so what I'll do now is I'll go to the various tests and you'll see how these different bolts perform all against the same materials and backstops etc right so these are the tests all the tests will be using the same crossbow from about the same distance around about five to seven meters i think so the first test will be an accuracy test so using six bolts each all identical we'll see what the accuracy is but i must admit this does depend on the shooter and the stance and all that bench rest shooting might be better so you saw a couple of flyers for the first ones there um, a couple for the ABS here now lastly we'll be shooting the ABS and aluminium ones which again had a couple of flyers but um, I think if you look you'll see that the accuracy is pretty much the same to be honest for all of these bolts um, that wasn't brilliant shooting but you would get at least a four or five inch grouping I reckon about the odd strays so yeah about the same for the accuracy so again same crossbow same distance and the tests this time are penetration tests so I'm going to shoot two each of the bolts and see which of the bolts penetrate the deepest I do suspect though that that final bolt hit a hole that was already existing on the other side. What I'm doing now is putting some tape on so that I can show you the exact distance that these bolts went in. It's a bit of a better visual representation. So the two ABS ones appear to me to have gone in from about 30 to 40 mil. The ABS and aluminium ones apart from one that went in deeper seem about the same 
and then the solid aluminium ones about 25 to 30 mil by the looks of it but yeah if you look there I think they all probably went in about the same distance really apart from the one that I think went through another hole so again round about the same performance there so the next test will be a hard backstop destructive test and this is to test what happens to the bolts when they hit something hard so you just saw one of the ABS ones bounce out so I did it again one of the ABS and plastic ones broke you saw the flight there but this is the main test I wanted to show you what happens to the tips so the friction fitted in ones they just pull out straight away so that one's broken and you'd struggle to get that in good again afterwards now the screw in one that worked good but it's actually bent the, the bolt has bent which doesn't always happen but there was no damage to the flights the ABS when you saw how easy that tip came off and then the solid aluminium one again the tips nearly always pop off if it's in a hard surface and those I always struggle to get those back in any good yeah the only tip that really survived was the screw in one but the the bolt broke for that bent for that anyway so so as I said before same crossbow same distance same bolts and this time this is a metal test so we will shoot this sheet metal to see what happens to the bolts so that's the four bolts in and the ABS one's actually been really damaged that may have gone in deeper than the others though the, the aluminium and ABS one of the screw in tip had a slight damage to the flights solid aluminium one just had a bit of scratching and the other ABS and aluminium one had some scratching as well but that was about it now water bottle test this is to show what happens to the flights when they go through a slightly softer material but actually definitely go through it and you'll see in a minute what happens so ABS ones are fine the ABS and aluminium one with the screw and tip is fine the other ABS and aluminium one fine again but what happens to the solid aluminium one with the rubber flatulence or flights they get crinkled up and damaged and after a few shots through plastic bottles eventually those will be quite damaged and possibly completely damaged there you go you've seen the tests um, most of them perform actually reasonably well and around about the same my personal preference for these bolts will always be these ones and these ones with the screw in tip I think this one is a lot better than that one once this tip comes out you can't really put it back in yourself easily um, whereas these ones you can just screw it in and out so I'll definitely go for these and these for price the plastic ones are definitely worth the money for the amount you can get you saw that they perform quite good and you can get loads I think you can get over um, I think it's something like 72 of these for 10 quid uh, which is pretty good whereas you'll only get about 12 of these and possibly these for six pounds and that's a 24 for 12 quid so yeah uh, th the only thing I dislike about these ones are the tips because if you shoot anything hard with these that tip nearly always stays in the um, hard material and pulls out whereas these ones don't these flights are more likely to break than those um, but these are easier to replace than those so yeah it's, it's down to you really uh, my conclusion for me personally will always be these two um, I'd do away with those but if you want long term good um, long lasting bolts definitely these two my my ideal bolt would be this one with a screw in tip like this that would be absolutely perfect then but sadly they don't do them at the minute 
So yeah, there it is. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the video and you've come to a conclusion about what you want to buy now. So um, yeah, these are the more expensive, better ones. But the ABS ones do come out all right, but the tips come off easily. But at the same time, the tips are reasonably easy to replace as they just push on again you can put a bit of glue and push it back on but they do come off quite easy right hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it helpful see you later before you leave if you ever wanted to support this channel you can now via patreon or by shopping at amazon.com and gearbest there's more info below if you need that remember if you want to get full notifications for this channel click the bell and uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.